everyone, it's Cass. Welcome back to my channel, What Cass Read. Today I'm going to bring you the fantasy books that I would like to get to and read in 2019. So this book list is not small. When I saw how many books I read le this past year, I was like, okay, I think you can up the ante a little bit with your fantasy reads. So let's get to it, to the fantasy books that I wanna read in 2019. So the first one that I have here, this is Strange the Dreamer written by Lainey Taylor. I've never read anything by Lainey Taylor. This is probably one of two of the most popular books here on booktube that I have in this pile that I haven't gotten to yet. I feel like this is one of those books, kind of like The Bear and the Nightingale, where people couldn't actually tell me what it was about without really giving everything away. So this is a story about a man named Laszlo Strange. He works in a library and he's obsessed with this mythical city named Weep. And that's about all I know. That's all I feel like anybody can really tell me as a part of the synopsis. And then it's just like super prosy, lyrical, writing, but I've not experienced Lainey Taylor before, so um, I think this should be a pretty good introduction, and then if I like it, then I'll see if I can get to Muse of Nightmares. And then this book, this is the second most popular book on my list. I decided to get the two really popular ones out of the way. This is Six of Crows, written by Lee Bardugo. I have not read any Lee Bardugo either, believe it or not. I do have the other trilogy, forgot, forgot what it's called right now. I'm looking really prepared for this video, but this was another one that I wanted to get to last year, but it was just, you know, there's just too many books, too little time. So this is a story about, there's six main characters and it's a heist story. I'm down for heist stories though. I love The Lies of La Clamora. I just really like having easier reads on my list. Um, because there's some pretty hefty ones as we get further and further down the list. So this is Six of Crows, written by Lee Bardugo. So speaking of really hefty fantasy stories, this is The Grace of Kings, written by Ken Liu. Now, I just posted my Poppy War review and my November wrap-up, and in those two videos, I was talking about how I've been really trying to find some some good Asian-inspired fantasy, and I've had Ken Liu on my shelf for this whole year, and I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to get to Ken Liu this year. So Ken Liu is a priority for me in 2019. Uh, this is book number one of the Dandelion Dynasty, and then book number two, Wall of Storms, is also on my shelf, so I'm really hoping that Ken Liu and I are going to connect. So this story, what I know of it, it's um, an Asian-inspired silk punk fantasy series. I'm I'm in the middle of the Faithful and the Fallen series, so I keep thinking God War. I don't think it's a God War, but I do believe that there's characters who um, call upon the gods or are able to converse with the gods. I know there's like some really big chapter perspectives from the point of view of the gods, and there's a lot of political intrigue. The other thing that I know is that both Caitlin from Kitty G Books and Sam from Sam's Nonsense have both raved about this series. I think Grace of Kings might have been their favorite book that they read last year. So then that means the next Asian inspired fantasy book that I would like to read. This is Jade City written by Fonda Lee. I knew about this book for a while because Emily from Possibly Lit, she reviewed this book and she absolutely loved it. So this is book number one of the Greenbone Saga. It's an Asian inspired metropolis fantasy city where the use of Jade gives them power. I don't know if it gives the city itself power but or if it gives the characters power and that there's a heavy, heavy use of martial arts. I myself am a big martial artist. I've been practicing martial arts for 20 years. Fonda Lee is a kung fu and karate black belt, so that gives me really great hope for some good action sequence and some good action scenes. And uh, she's an Asian author that I don't hear too many people talking about here on booktube. So this is Jade City written by Fonda Lee. All right, so I definitely want to get to this book in 2019. This is Red Seas Under Red Skies written by Scott Lynch. This is book number two of the Gentleman Bastard sequence. I wanted to get to it this year. I made a priority to read The Lies of Loch Lamora. Well, I read The Lies of Loch Lamora in January and I still haven't gotten to book two. So I've been thinking about about this series a lot. I've been making a lot of like my best of favorite fantasy series videos and Scott Lynch has made it to several of those videos but I still haven't read the second book yet. Jean Tannen and Locke Lamora take to the seas. It's pretty hard for them to stay in Camor after the events of The Lies of Locke Lamora so I believe they take to the ships and we'll see how they fare on the seas. I recently became a fan of maritime fantasy settings because of the Live Ship Traders trilogy. So now I'm actually, 
I feel like gonna give this book more of a chance than I would have if I hadn't had my mind completely blown by Robin Hobb this past year. Super excited to get to this one. This is Red Seas Under Red Skies written by Scott Lynch. So this is His Majesty's Dragon written by Naomi Novik. This is also book number one in the Temeraire series and in the UK editions this book is also just called Temeraire. This book also has a bit of a maritime feel to it because this is a historical fantasy that takes place during the Napoleonic Wars but with dragons. We have our main character who is a captain in the British Navy and he happens upon a dragon egg and the dragon hatches for him and bonds to him and then we get into this whole world of dragon riders. It's been a long time since I've had a really decent dragon rider book and so I'm pretty excited about this one. I fell in love with Naomi Novik when I read Uprooted and then I read Spinning Silver later this year. That was my most anticipated read of 2018 but I still haven't gotten to her whole series of the Temerar series yet. She completed it already so that uh, makes me really excited that if I end up liking this one then I can just power through it. So super excited to pick up this one. This is His Majesty's Dragon written by Naomi Novik. All right, this book. This is The Black Prism written by Brent Weeks. This is book number one of the Lightbringer series. I've talked about this series a couple times on my channel uh, as being some books that I would really like to get to. And so this is obviously book number one that I would love to try in 2019. So this is a world that has a really complex magic system and complex magic systems don't scare me. The magic system is based on color. There's only supposed to be one person that's able to use all of the colors and they're called the prism, but I think there winds up being two. I think it's one of those stories. There's a light side of the force and the dark side of the force situation happening with this here. So I'm very excited for this one. I think this should be a pretty quick read because from the people that I follow and the people that I know that have read this book series, that this one usually ends up being something that they have been able to fly through despite its thick size. So that gives me some really great hope that I can definitely get to this in 2019 as well. So this is The Black Prism written by Brent Weeks. All right, then this is The Eye of the World written by Robert Jordan. This is book number one of the Wheel of Time series. I have never read the Wheel of Time series and this is another one of these gigantic fantasy sagas that I just really want to be able to check off my list of having read this one. So this was a book series that I knew I wanted to prioritize for 2019. I had this whole plan with some of the gigantic series that are out there. This was like a long-term goal of mine was to get to the Wheel of Time series. I believe in the whole series that there's like prophecies involved there's this group of kids who their home life is in a, all sorts of upheaval. There's chosen ones, there's magic and all that good stuff that makes uh, the kinds of books that I really like to read. So um, I hope you'll stick with me while I work on the Wheel of Time series. So hopefully if I like this one, I'm ready to go with the next one. So anyways, this is uh, The Eye of the World written by Robert Jordan. This is Warbreaker written by Brandon Sanderson. This is one of his standalone novels for the time being. Uh, all the rumblings that I read through on the fantasy forums and Reddit and all that stuff say that he is probably expanding on Warbreaker, that this is going to become a multiple book sequence in his whole Cosmere universe. So anyways, this is one that I really want to get to. I struggled through the second book of the Mistborn trilogy. I have still yet to pick up Hero of Ages, but this book I want to give a chance to um, because I just I just really want to make Brandon Sanderson work for me. So <laughs> this book is about two sisters who happen to be two princesses. One of them is supposed to marry uh, someone important. And I think things don't always go according to plan. There's also another really complex magic system in here. Uh, the magic is called the breath. And that's about all I know. I think there's also like color type magic in this as well. And this is another Brandon Sanderson I want to get to. This is Elantris. This is the first book that Brandon Sanderson ever wrote. Um, and this is a story about Elantrians. That's about all I know too. I picked this book up because uh, it's my goal to make it to, um, what, are, what do we call them? What do we call them? Uh, the Way of Kings, but what is that called? I don't remember the series now off the top of my head. That's my, that's my end game is to make it to the Way of Kings in that whole series. You have to read certain books before you get to it. I don't know. Um, but also people, when they talk about Sanderson, they talk about Mistborn, they talk about Elantris and Warbreaker as being the really great entry points to it before you get to the Way of Kings. So because I am a purist and want to read the things that people tell you you should do, then I'm gonna uh, pick up Elantris. And again, hopefully I'll have some success with Elantris as well. All right, so we've made it toward the end of the video and you have probably noticed by now there's no Robin Hobb in this video. That's a lie. Of course there's Robin Hobb in this video. 
2019, my main goal for fantasy is to finish the Realm of the Elderling series. I have been working on the Realm of the Elderling series for the past two years now. I read six of her books this past year, so I hope to get to the next set of books. There's seven books in front of me, and that will help me conclude the Robin Hobb Realm of the Elderling series. I'm pretty anxious, pretty nervous about it. This is one of the series that I will fight to the death for pretty much. So uh, the next book series that I want to get to is the Rainwild Chronicles and I've made a whole how to read Robin Hobb video so if you're not entirely sure the order and which books to start with these aren't going to be it because these are the concluding series. Book number one of the Rainwild Chronicles is called Dragon Keeper. Book number two is called Dragon Haven. Book number three is called City of Dragons and book number four is called Blood of Dragons. It brings us back to the dragons as you can see by the titles of those books. So the dragons have returned to the world and they are not the same. They end up coming back decrepit and malnourished and not the magical beautiful beasts that everybody was expecting when they were supposed to hatch. So they have been left in the care of the Rainwild people and they are trying to find this mythical city of the dragons so that way they can raise them up and take care of them and all that good stuff. We're back with some of our characters again from live ships and then once I complete the Rainwild Chronicles then I will move on to the Fitz and the Fool trilogy which is going to wrap up the entire series as well as uh, Fitz Chivalry Farseer's storyline and the Fool. Obviously that's the name of the series. So the first book in this series is called Fool's Assassin. The second book is called Fool's Quest, and the final book in this entire saga is called Assassin's Fate. So I'm very excited for that whole trilogy as well. It takes place after the events of the Tawny Man trilogy, where Fitz Chivalry Farseer is living this uh, quiet, retired life, but things don't always go according to how he wants them to, because he he's just got a really complicated life, <laughs> and uh, people from his past come back to find him and see if they can't put his services to use once more. I've got 17 books in total, so I think I can get to these 17 books. These will be my priority fantasy reads but you're obviously going to see some other fantasy reads as the year progresses so I really hope that you'll stick with my channel and see what I think about these books. Put some comments in the comment section below let me know what fantasy books that you want to read in the year 2019 and then you can follow me on social media if you really want to chat about some of these books. So I'm on Instagram and Twitter it's at whatcastread it's the same as this channel so it should be super easy to find and then if Goodreads is your preferred platform of choice I will always have my Goodreads account linked below for you. Otherwise you know how these videos end. I'll talk to you later.